No more bed slingers. No bloodshed during support removal. Sleeping wonderful during your overnight prints. Bringing color back to into the community and stiff PA carbon fiber parts for your Nerf blaster. A 3D printer that is going to be available on Kickstarter any soon. Right here, Zachary's 3D prints. Hello, this is Zachary. This company had set some five goals to achieve within the journey that they took 22 months ago. So almost two years ago. So no more bed slingers. Most princes that I have have a bed that goes to the back and front called bed slingers. How you would call Delta printers? Nozzle slingers? <laughs> Anyways, also one of the other things when removing supports, if you are now wearing some protective gloves, then you will get some nasty cuts in your hands and that you also don't want to have. And also, if you have a very tight space and you have a 3D printer within your bedroom, you can sleep peacefully. Well, this printer has a less than 50 decibel printing volume so that is an average of most printers nowadays but maybe it's even more silent and you will only hear some silent fan noises so i don't think that that is a very big thing but who knows it's going to be even better than that and also bringing color back into the community in the 3d printing community in the maker space and basically everywhere where this print is going to be i saw already some amazing stuff on their website so i was like i'm going to make a closer look on this 3d printer and last one i have two spools of nylon here in my room and i cannot use it so i'm not going to make the the package open because nylon has a tendency to you know uh, absorb the moist in the air and ruining your expensive filament because one of those spools were 75 euros for 750 grams so you can imagine that this is not your average filament for your daily prints or maybe you have some more things in mind and you want to use something like this and i have also a spool of nylon carbon fiber filament which i cannot use on any of my printers or maybe i have to upgrade them and at this moment i don't have the funds to do that so this 3d printer would look amazing i already saw on twitter several people posting something about it and i think well if i don't get the printer okay fine i understand bamboo if you want to reach out to me and maybe help me out for for several little projects i will be available but also make more awareness about this upcoming kickstarter campaign 3d printer because i was looking on kickstarter but this printer is not yet available on kickstarter as there are some youtubers having this printer check those videos out because you know it's always great to support other content creators on youtube as well this printer is going to be in a fully enclosed 3D printer. I'm going to switch over to this and then you will see how this printer look like. I didn't see it in uh, real life, but this printer is going to be big. It's going to be huge. It's going to be massive because on top of your 3D printer, you have also this RMS or AMS. I don't know if the filament spool holder is going to be as a included part or if you have to upgrade it in order to have that. So we will find out later on in this video. I see four times four colors. I would think that this one is going to be included, but we will see. It's a fully enclosed 3D printer. Even the filament spools are fully enclosed and so if you are going to print with nylon or other heat sensitive material or moist sensitive materials i can imagine that it is pretty hard to to get the filament as dry as possible in order to get it printed you know you know those food dehydrators that people are using to print nylon with it for that reason i still have those filament spools in the back i do like the color it's a metal gray it's it's very stylish i do like this design a very nice big color lcd touchscreen dual auto bed leveling system these are the kickstarter campaign prices start shipping in july 2022 early bird kickstarter price for the x1 is 699 us dollars and you will save up to 300 us dollars you you get the bamboo lab 
uh, X1 included with 250 grams of bamboo PLA filament. I can imagine that filaments like nylon or nylon carbon fiber, those are the more expensive filaments. But I can imagine 250 grams of PLA filament gets you started, right? And then you have also 849 Kickstarter price and also a 999. But if you are checking out which kind of things you have included there, you can see why the price what you are going to save in the end, why it's there. But coming back on the filaments that were on the top, that is the Bamboo Lab AMS. It's a additional thing that you need to buy with this printer. So my question at forehand is, what is the filament spool holder and where is it going to be? But we maybe it's it's going to be answered later on. Colors, the ultimate expression of emotions is brought to you by Bamboo. There are some icons that sounds really nice with those AMS system. So it's air tight so no moist can get into there is a humidity sensor built in i don't know what they mean parallel four times four but i think maybe a mechanic to fuse the filaments together a two-stage feeding but also a filament buffer so what does that mean the last two icons two-stage feeding and a filament buffer what i think that they do is something like we maybe can compare with the pellet pro or the pellet 3 pro that they will slice the filaments together in order to get filament in multicolor. I think that they are using this kind of system in there. So several models passing by. I don't know how I can stop this. Also, nice thing that they did here. They mentioned the, the artist or the maker from this model. So that's nice. This is Bamboo Labs. I don't know if they designed it or that they have printed it. But the fact is, it's standing there on the table with some sunlight. I don't know if this is a 3D render, but this looks pretty real. Doesn't look like it's Photoshop. If you see this and you see this part, you will see a thin layer of soluble filaments and you can just, you know, take it off. Maybe this, this can also be TPU, right? Advanced processes enable advanced materials. This whole machine has a all metal hot end for printing temperatures up to 300 degrees Celsius. The hardened nozzle is 50 HRC. I don't know what HRC is, but I think it's very hard. And also when you are printing with carbon fiber material, your nozzle gets also weared out. Other thing, the hotbed reaches temperature up to 220 degrees. And another cool thing is a chamber temperature of 60 degrees. So the chamber is also actively being heated making the enclosure fully heated with your heat bed with your nozzle your prints are going to succeed because of the controlled environment so that is cool the parts cooling fan is a 12 watts fans advanced material and power advanced projects yeah indeed you can print a lot of small models big models but if you are also want to do more than that and you want to start printing parts then something like this is amazing pa with carbon fiber also normal nylon pc so polycarbonate and other polymers yeah polymers plastics it's pretty nice ai powered evolution your printer if you are into the 3D printing, you know that a 3D printer is basically a small robot. And robots in general should be smart, right? I mean, my Google is sometimes listening to me. And so if I ask a question, I will get an answer. A, a LiDAR that measures depth in micrometers. So I think if it is measuring that, I can imagine that there is something like a camera built inside. It has to be. I mean, in AI without eyes, is it still an AI? So with the nozzle, it measures the printing height. That is interesting. So like mentioned, there is a special ABL sensor built in. I don't know how the sensor exactly works. If I check those sensors here, it kind of look like laser precision. But if the nozzle is being touched on the bed, it can also be a strain gauge built in the sensor. Can also be. But this printer, Make sure that your first layer is going to be spot on. Health management system, door sensor, some kind of an optical sensor or a click-in sensor that when you open the door, it will uh, automatically pass the print if the door is open. Chamber camera. There is a camera within the chamber. That is something that I would expect because of the things that I already have seen. Provides you with remote live stream. If you, if you are something like doing make a deck or some other live streams, you can maybe add this to, to that stream. Shoots time-lapse. So 
Nice thing for doing time lapse. I like time lapses and records the process for possible troubleshooting. So that is pretty neat feature to have. CTS, the chamber temperature sensor automatically adjusts the speed of the chamber fan to cool the chamber down to the right temperatures. Very nice, very nice. Filament runout sensor, close loop fan. A fan system with feedback enables the X1 to detect when a fan is not responding or blowing at correct speed so that you can take the appropriate action. Nice, more, more companies should do that. RFID, the X1 uses RFID to detect what filament you are using and automatically apply the best settings for your material. Okay, so if I hear this correctly, there is an RFID chip in spools of filaments, right? That means that if you are using their filaments, that this RFID chip knows exactly which kind of filament they are using. I'm wondering, can you also use some different brand filaments? Because the 3D for makers nylon was 75 euros, so that was quite expensive. Filament odometer. The filament odometer on the X1 can even let you know how much filament you have used and how much you have left. That's great to know. Oh, BTM. The X1 detects when your belt tension is off and alerts you so you can activate its semi-automatic bed tensioner. Wow, how is that for a change? That sounds already very neat. AI inspected first layer. Tired of waiting out that first layer? Yeah, I can imagine that. It's always great to watch that first layer. But this printer sounds like they are having some other ingenious things, if I may say so. The LiDAR sensor, I think that is a whole system built in. The LiDAR sensor can check your first layer so that you can get back to doing anything else. Hey, that's neat. But hey, who wants to see a very nice, decent layer point, right? Higher than the first layer. So it checks on higher than the first layer height and also lower than the first layer height. And this little image that they show here on the right hand side. So the, the, the purple ones show you that the layers are higher than the first layers and also you hit the orange one so when your nozzle is too close to the bed or doesn't print anything it detects that as well and then we have the spaghetti detection if you have already cameras detecting if your first layer is too high or too low what do you think about noodles on your bed our ai keeps an eye out for spaghetti monsters. Oh, I love how they play with, with the things that are so common in the 3D printing world, how they call it. Spaghetti detected with confidence of 86%. If you have a little drip or a little hang in one of your layers, I don't think it's going to hit, you know, oh, alarm and uh, your print is going to be stopped. I think if it happens more and more, I think that this printer is going to pause the print because of this. Stay in the loop. So this printer is also communicating through your app on your iPhone, on your Android phone. So that is a nice thing. Designed for speed. Like mentioned, this is a 3D printer with a Core XY system built in a welded chassis well not screwed welded chassis and the velocity 500 millimeters per second so this is a pretty fast 3d printer because it uses a core xy system so how did we get such a speed boost what do you need to print these kind of materials in high speed how do you do that? Because you don't want to wait for a very long time. So they have used a ultra lightweight carbon rail. Sounds already great. A 40 watts ceramic heater. So a higher temperature hot end making this all possible. Less waiting time means fast iteration. Uses 0.1 millimeter layer height by default without worrying about printing time. Because if I want to print something very quickly, I will increase the layer height in order to get prints fast. But now they are saying, you know, just have it on 0.1 millimeter layer height and the printer will do the rest by speed. Speed printing. Speed printing? Okay, less time means less carbon emission. Well, they also think about the environment. Printer for everyone. Okay, sure. So out of the box. The X1 is assembled, tuned, calibrated and tested before shipping to the customer. So you can enjoy printing right out of the box. 
I think there are still some styrofoam or other things in order to keep your printer well calibrated, I guess. Print from anywhere with any device. So if you are on a smartphone or on a laptop or on a desktop, from out of the cloud, you can print basically anything. So it's time to embrace 3MF. I never used 3MF before. I'm using STL files. So I'm a noob from that perspective. So in the SDL era, I think I'm, I'm still a dinosaur. The X1 saves you this trouble. You can now manage your whole project in one cloud. To be honest, if I'm looking to the screen behind the, the dinosaur, so if I see this, I see multiple parts laying next to each other. Does that mean that you can stack your build plate full of parts and print them all at the same time? Eco-friendly uh, printing in mind, so that is always great. 80% cut carbon footprint. The spools of filament that they are using, they are made out of partially plastic, partially carton. 50 decibel in silent mode, and they have a activated carbon filter absorb the VOCs. So they they are if if you are checking those things that in the epilogue is standing, so they are honest on that. They say eh, completely eliminating thinking on, on this machine or tuning. No, is is the printer reliable as a normal photocopier or printer? No. And is this printer you guys dream of? No. Well, basically I would do because I do like this design. I do like this, but they are saying we are proud of the X1. And if I check all the things that I have seen here, it's a very amazing printer. There are several content creators on YouTube that that have received this printer. I think that this, this printer is going to be a very nice printer to save you money for. If you want to back this 3D printer on Kickstarter, I will put the link from this website in this video. You can subscribe to, to the newsletter and also giving you the information when this printer is going to hit the Kickstarter any soon. I'm not sure if I'm going to back this Kickstarter campaign because I don't have any money for this at this moment. So if I would have the money, I would definitely have done it because I believe in this machine. It's looking amazing. As mentioned, this printer starts shipping in July of 2022. But just like mentioned, it is a Kickstarter campaign. There, are, there could be risk. I think that this, this printer is going to be an amazing printer. This video is supported by these amazing Patreon supporters. Fix him, dude. Carl Fenton, YJ, and Nonstick. Thank you guys for your amazing support. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you don't want to support me on Patreon, you can also support this channel by checking the memberships for this channel, or maybe just give it thanks. That's also possible. And if you want to support without giving any money, please smash that like button or subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Peace, bye-bye.